How's it going everyone? This is Ben from Let's Play Golf and today I'll be showing you the new setup, the new golf room using the SkyTrack system. Let's do this. Well the time has finally arrived, the golf room is all set up, ready to go and this is my tour. First of all then I'd just like to thank my wife for being supportive. These builds do cost a lot of money take time, quite stressful, especially for me, a stress head. So um, yeah, thank you. And just to let you know, Shane said that he'd do the washing up for the rest of the year. Good on you, Shane. Okay, first things first then, we have the enclosure. It is roughly, I don't know if you can see here, about one metre deep. It's about 2.5 meters wide and 2.4 meters high. Um, this fits the net return, the Pro Series screen. A bit of a shout out for them. I do like this screen, it's pretty good. I have got a mark on there, but I think that's my own fault using the dirty golf ball. Lesson learned. So what I've done now is bought some new, um, I'm trying out the Bridgestones. So we'll give those a blast later on. Yeah, so that's a top tip for you. Don't use uh, dirty balls. <laughs> okay, so what I've done, I bought some curtain. I bought that from Spotlight. If you're in Australia, that's where I got it from. I bought four curtains and wrapped them around the frame and then just taped them up. I've got a net as well, just for an extra bit of protection. I'm not sure if you can see this. So I've got like foam around the posts yeah, I'm just using these aluminium posts, which I bought from Bunnings, once again in Australia. I just used an axle, cut them off, made it fit to, uh, to the screen. Okay, so that was my first bit of DIY. I'm not a DIY expert by any means, trust me. So um, I did that and I also did this. So under here, I've got my projector. It's the Optima HDR 1080, I believe. Uh, once again, my amazing DIY skills. All I've got is um, marine ply board. It's about a centimeter thick or something like that. And this is just enough to protect the balls from hitting the projector. And there you have it. I've also got this bit of foam. <laughs> it's a temporary fix, just to stop when the golf balls do roll back. You know, I don't want it to dink it, even though the balls are going slow. Okay, so my projector is roughly about one and a half meters away from the screen and it projects up to a 125 inch screen, which is pretty good. It uh, fits the screen really well. I'll show you towards the end of the video how it fits. Pretty happy with it. It's just a bit of space at the bottom. Okay, so I've got my sky track. I've got the full metal jacket going around. I normally have it uh, with the USB connected. And it's just easier for me how I do it. Got the PC all set up. We've got the RTX 2070 in there. Um, it's doing a really good job at the minute. I bought this mat from, like you might have seen from another video, from the net return. Unfortunately, when I was hitting it, I don't know if I'm catching it fat or whatever, but the sky track's not, it's not picking up distances very well. Um, I think it's too forgiving. So what I've done is cut an insert, just put a cheap mat in for now. Um, as you can see, it's not as spongy, but I've put some extra padding underneath. So hopefully it doesn't hurt my wrists and elbows. And uh, yeah, I have all my bags set up. I'm probably not gonna do a holder. I'll probably just bring my bag near the sky track for when I'm going to uh, play my games and practice. I've got all my um, boards on the walls, like my last video. Uh, as you can see, please like and subscribe, support the channel. And yeah, this is it. And you know, it's still a, it's, this is still an operational garage. Like if I want to get a car in here, all I've got to do is, I've got to move stuff, but it's not, it's not a drama, do you know what I mean? It should only take a five minutes or so. I've also set up this uh, picnic table. As you can see, it's got a black, black surface. Apparently if you've got a dark surface, 
it helps track the ball because just in case you don't know Skytrack takes pictures of the ball not your club right what i'll do then i'll, I'll load up the pc i'll turn the Skytrack on i'll hit a few balls and um yeah we'll see what, we'll go from there okay so if you're unaware this is the practice mode in the Skytrack system i've just set it up so i'm uh, going to be hitting it towards the green hopefully you can see where the flag is what i'll do i'll make sure that i set it up so you can see the ball travel and um yeah i'm going to use a seven iron and i've set it at 145 meters which is approximately 155 yards So another feature I have then is the Golf Club 2019. Hopefully this is accurate as well. I'm uh, new to it all, so I'm just gonna set up, have a go, and uh, we'll play a famous course. Okay, just sorted it out. We'll uh, select Pebble Beach. It's got a five star right in. So it should be a pretty accurate course. We'll play from the red tees as it is me playing. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just play the first hole, just see how it plays out. So when you're aiming, you still use your keyboard. Just uh, sense the line at all, make it a bit easier for yourself. Oops. Gives you all your details, what, uh, what you've just done. Yeah, you're kind of in some deep stuff. This is the danger zone. So we got a 122 yards to the flag. Yes, we've got 122 yards to the flag. I'm going to use my eight iron because we are in the rough. Oh, be good, be good. On the dance floor in two. Here we go. Just to let you know, I use a Scotty Cameron, a 2.5 select. I love this putter. However, putting on the sky track isn't, isn't too fun. So we're downhill and it's moving right to left a little bit. So once again, you're walking with your keyboard. Aim to where you think it's going to be, so you just hit a straight shot and hopefully not too hard. Be good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't recommend buying this if you want it for the putting. <laughs> This 
good little putt there. So like I said on this video, I just play the one hole. Putting's very frustrating. However, in real life, if I walked away with a bogey, I'd be pretty happy. So let me know what you all think, how I can improve the setup, how I've done for my first build. Please like and subscribe, it will help me out, give me a bit more confidence to make more videos for the future. All right, well, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.